Meanwhile, major construction begins along Interstate 43, including a new interchange on Brown Deer Road. Our Adriana Mendez shows us what drivers need to know. Out on I-43 from essentially Milwaukee County to Sheboygan County, you'll notice construction. Well, here out on Brown Deer Road, this is going to be the site of a new construction project as well. The Wisconsin Department of Transportation is going to be working on reconfiguring this interchange, but it may be confusing to some drivers because drivers will have to travel on the opposite side of the road. Have you ever heard of a diverging diamond interchange before? No, no, I have not. And you might not like driving on one. I don't think I'd be a big fan of it because driving on the other side of the road seems unnatural. But here out on Brown Deer Road, the interchange near I-43 will soon look different as the DOT will be constructing a diverging diamond interchange in the upcoming years. The interchange, also known as a double crossover diamond, is where drivers cross over and temporarily drive on the opposite side of the road before crossing back over to the other side. Right now, where you you see the, the ramps that are coming on and off. So that's the location where they cross over. So how is it safe? According to the DOT, it allows for an easier free flow of traffic by eliminating left turns across oncoming traffic. It does allow a free movement then, a free flow movement when you get onto the ramps. During peak hours here at Brown Deer Road, about 1,100 vehicles are expected to merge on the southbound lanes of I-43 and about 800 on the northbound side. There's only 300 vehicles during the peak hour that actually go straight through the interchange. So by looking at those volumes, it was very clear that this would be a great candidate to put that style of an interchange in. According to the DOT, the DDI reduces the number of ways vehicles can collide with each other by half, from 26 with the conventional diamond interchange down to 14. So why did the DOT pick this area to be the first in southeast Wisconsin with a diverging diamond interchange? As you look at the volume of turns that are made and whether you can prevent perhaps uh, some incidents, because when you turn left and have to cross the lanes of traffic, you're creating incident possibilities. The DOT says it also allows for greater vehicle capacity and accommodates large trucks, pedestrians and bicycles. However, due to the design, it may be confusing for travelers to drive on the opposite side of the road. So how do you navigate through a DDI? Traffic signals and pavement markings will help guide drivers, but it will take some getting used to. Until then, Alexis says she's going to try to avoid this area and all other construction along I-43. No, <laughs> I will not drive over there. And I will avoid it, <laughs> just like the construction. <laughs> now, there are 99 DDIs located across the country, and when I worked in North Carolina in Asheville, there was a DDI located there. It was a little startling to drive on the opposite side of the road, but it just takes a little getting used to. Adriana Mendez, TMJ4 News.